Hey guys, what's up? So I'm back. I'm here with another coffee video. As shared with you several videos ago, I bought this automatic burr grinder from Shopee. And in that first video, I unboxed this. I promise you in that video that aside from testing it, I actually wanted for you guys to see how I would use it in my espresso machine. Previously, I actually was using this very handy plate grinder. And to much dismay and criticism from you guys, you told me that I should be getting a burr grinder. So here it is. But I still wanted to test it. I wanted the burr grinder to go head to head with this blade grinder for me to really see, does it really make your coffee better? Can it really make it better than this? So here's how it's gonna work today. I'm gonna be grounding these Costa Rican beans. So I'm opening this right before your very eyes. I'll be putting some with my new automatic burr grinder and some will be ground using my old blade grinder. So I'm gonna be tasting these espressos head to head, but to make things a little interesting, for me to really distinguish without bias which I would like better, I'm gonna be doing this in a semi-blind tasting method. So if you see my two cups, I've actually marked one as A, yep, and marked one as B. There you go. A will stand for my old blade grinder, and B will be my burr grinder. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be grinding the beans, making my espresso. Once they're properly inside the glasses, I'm gonna be mixing them up, like in a game of three shells, and I'm gonna be tasting and tell you what I like better. Hey guys, so we're done doing our espressos. I have them here now. Um, I really don't know which is which. Can I guess which is which? Right now, they look pretty dead even to me. All right, cheers guys. Mm. Tastes like coffee. I don't know what to say, guys. Um, it's quite nutty. Sort of on the right smack in the medium uh, type of roast. Has some character. The strength is just right. I don't think it's too bitter. There's a bit of a light caramelly uh, taste to it too. Tasting the first one. All right, so this is coffee number two. Tastes like coffee again. Off the get-go, I think I prefer the first one. And if it's according to the coffee experts out there, the better one should be the one from the burr grinder. So let's try it one more time. Coffee number two. Coffee number one. Coffee number one seems like it has more of a robust flavor. Coffee number two seems a little more flat, a little more watery. If it it just doesn't have the same well-roundedness as the first one. So for my guess, this is the one from the new burr grinder. The second one that I tasted is from the blade grinder. This should be B, and this should be A. So for the big reveal... Okay, so... Yep, that looks like B, guys. So great, I tip off my hat to the coffee experts who say that the burr grinder does make better coffee because of being able to specify the granularity of the beans, of the ground beans. Yeah, it's not both B, is it? 
Yeah, this one's a... <laughs> The blade grinder, it's a little more flat. The flavor is similar, don't get me wrong, it's still pretty good, but it's not entirely all there. And I guess the question now would be, is it really worth it to invest in a new grinder altogether? To be honest guys, I don't think it's worlds apart. Unless you're really a big coffee aficionado, or you really have a good nuance for different tastes. Since I spent less than 2,000 pesos on this, so for that kind of price, I think it's really worth it. If you're going to be investing in a burr grinder that's going to be in the range of 5,000 pesos, or maybe I would steer clear of that. If you're a basic coffee drinker like me, I, I don't think it's such a big difference. My blade grinder is actually about seven or eight years old already. The price of this blade grinder is fully depreciated. Again, is it a world of difference? I don't think it's a world of difference, but if you haven't bought a grinder, then definitely go for the burr grinder. And for the blade grinder, I know a lot of people hate it and consider it sacrilegious, but if you have a brand new blade grinder, or maybe it works perfectly fine for you, like I have with my blade grinder for many, many years, that's fine with me. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this little experiment that we did today. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching guys, and cheers guys!